Now this is a whopping big moon jellyfish that has grown too big for someone's aquarium. So they've bring it back to us. Now um, you can really see the filaments coming out of the jellyfish. It's very hard to see in this photo. Um, this tank's ideal for jellyfish because right now it is just totally full of amphipods and copepods which are little organisms which are just re basically a result of too much organics in the water. Um, so this guy will eat mice shrimp, um, brine shrimp, um, um, cyclopes, all sorts of stuff like that and they love amphipods and copepods which build up in the aquarium with the presence of these organics and then the, they'll collect the food in the little trails here the little trails and they'll filter that through up to their mouth which isn't really a mouth as such but it's alright now one thing you need to do when keeping jellyfish see these pebbles on the bottom they're very smooth it's really important that you don't have um, sharp pebbles on the bottom so a lot of these aquariums, when you buy them, they've got very sharp um, pebbles and those sharp gravel are a good filter material for bacteria but um, we've got that underneath these so these ones have got a small surface area therefore they don't um, have, house as much bacteria and that's all good but you still need to have the smooth ones on top so as the jellyfish comes around in the tank he doesn't snag himself on the sharp rocks and constantly injure himself otherwise they do tend to die other than that they feed well and they grow so this guy here has outgrown his previous aquarium then you see a little fella here and we do find that when you feed them well they grow real fast and when you don't feed them enough they shrink so you are actually in a position to sort of balance the size of your jellyfish with the size of your aquarium by how much you feed it so that's something you can just pay attention to and be aware of. So it is important when keeping jellyfish you do um, test the water on a regular basis. So you need you know how often it needs to be cleaned. It's also a good idea to hide down in the base in a tank like this some polyfilter, which will suck a, a lot of their waste out of the water. I would also recommend using a changing LED light, which this is not. You can just attach that into these bio orbs aquariums. And it's also really important where the bubbles come out, 